Today we're going to take a look at using the Prototrack SMS control to drill holes, do a bolt hole, tap those holes, copy, mirror, and repeat. All of those will do when we look at this particular part. With this part, we'll do this bolt circle here and drill these holes. And all those holes that we drill will tap as well. So what to note about this bolt circle is that it's 3.25 inches in diameter. The first hole is 45 degrees from the 3 o'clock position. Always measure from 3 o'clock going counterclockwise. The material is half an inch and we're doing five holes. So let's program that in. We press program, go to beginning, do the bolt circle, drill bore or tap it. First we'll drill it. We have five holes. The center, let's say the center is a zero, zero point is in the center of the circle. So I just hit set, set, it assumes zero. We'll wrap it down to a hundred thou above the workpiece. And because the material is half an inch, we'll go a little bit farther and say 0.55 negative because we're going into the material. The radius, if it's 3.25 inches in diameter, half of that is 1.625. The angle of the first hole we said is 45 degrees. And we'll do 5 pecs for instance for this example. And that's how many pecs to get in through half an inch of material. RPM, let's say 2000 RPM. And the feed rate will say 6 inches per minute. And our drill will call tool number 1. Let's take a look. There's our bolt circle. Now let's tap that by hitting bolt circle again. This time we're going to select tap, which is 3. Again, everything carries over from the previous step. So, five holes, center is zero, zero, wrap it to 100 thou, ending at 0.55 negative. The radius is 1.625, angle of the first hole 45 degrees. Now, the pitch, say for instance if we're doing 20 TPI, so one divided by 20 gives a pitch of 0.05. RPM, let's slow it right down. I don't know what RPMs you use, but I'll just say 50 for the example's sake. And this time our tap will be tool number two. So when we take a look, the plus now has a little circle around it showing that we've drilled and tapped the hole. So we'll take a look now at doing these holes to the left and to the right of the bolt circle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill this hole. I'm gonna copy it six times and then I'll mirror that whole thing to the other side. And when we look at the distance between the holes here, we have 5.5 .5 inches. And from first hole to last hole here, we have 3 inches. And in between each hole, we have half an inch. So if I'm going to drill this hole, starting from zero, I'm going to go over half of 5.5, .5, which is 2.75. And on the y-axis, I'll go up half of 3 inches, which is 1.5. So let's enter that in. We'll drill a hole, pressing 1 for drill. X we said is going over 2.75. Y is going up 1.5. Again we'll wrap it down to 100 thou above the piece and go 0.55 negative into the material. We'll again have 5 pecs to get through it. RPM back up to 2000 for drilling. The feed rate carries over from the previous step, which is six inches per minute, that's fine. And we're back to tool number one, which is our drill. Take a look, there is that hole. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna copy that hole six times to get that, what we need. So I'm gonna go over to more, copy, repeat. The first event, is three. The last event is three because we're only copying the one. Set, three, set. Am I going to offset X? I'm not going to offset X left or right, but I will offset Y a negative half an inch, which we have between holes. 
So we're going down from here, so it's going to be a negative half inch. So I'm going to hit ink set, incremental set, no offset on x, y is negative 0.5. Are we going to offset any of these other ones? No, everything else remains the same. So we're going to wrap it down the same amount. We're going to go into the material the same amount. We're going to repeat this six times. We're not going to change the RPM or the feed rate. Everything remains the same. And we're going to be using still tool number one. Let's take a look. There it is. So now we have the seven holes. Now we're going to take this, mirror it to the other side. So we're going to press look. Again, we're going to go to more, copy. This time we'll mirror it. First event, the first hole was event number three. Our last hole is event number nine. Now the cutting order, if I go forward, it'll cut from here to here, then go up here and cut from here to here. But if I go backwards, I'll go from here to here, go over here, and then backwards from here to here. That'll save us just a little bit extra, so I'll go backwards and go backwards on these holes. So I'll set two for backwards. I'm going to mirror, this is the Y axis here, so I'm going to mirror this axis. So I press Y. And then now it's going to be asking me if I'm going to offset it one way or the other. If I want these holes an inch farther this way or an inch back this way, I'll offset it an inch or minus an inch. But in this case, there's no offset. It's just going to be a straight mirror. So I just press set and it assumes zero. Take a look. There are the holes. So now we've drilled those 14 holes. Let's tap them. So we go to more, tap, or sorry, we'll go to copy, drill to tap. I'm taking drilling events and turning them into tapping events. The first event, our first hole was event number three. Our last event was number 16. We're going to wrap it down to 100 thou above the piece. Going again, 0.55 negative. The pitch, 20 TPI, 1 divided by 20, 0.05. RPM, let's go 50 RPM again for the tapping, and our tap will be tool number two. Take a look. Now all those pluses have little circles around it, and we've just completed a drill and tap of bolt hole and number of holes in a line.